Greetings to each one of you. Glad we can be together and uh, open God's Word. Man, may God just, uh, you know, dwell in your hearts richly. That would really be my, my desire for you, for me, uh, for all of us as we follow Him. This is going to be out of uh, Song of Songs or Song of Solomon. Uh, and it's going to be the eighth uh, chapter, verses six and uh, the first part of verse seven. Uh, there's just a couple of little truths in here as we kind of wrap up this uh, idea of, uh, of, of how we've been looking at uh, just this, this, these two little devotions we're looking at out of uh, Song of Songs and that Solomon is, is um, in pursuit of this relationship um, and, you know, the beloved and they're going back and forth uh, with each other, and ultimately they, uh, you know, have developed intimacy and so on. And, and it's a great storyline, but it's also the truth between us and the Lord as the bride of Christ and Jesus the groom. And it's talking about here in verse six. It says, "Set me as a seal upon your heart." Think of this: the Bible describes for you and I that the whole that the, the, the Lord has set His seal upon you and upon me. And it is the seal, he says, of his Holy Spirit. You and I are marked out, you know, really good bakeries in various parts of the world. I like good bakeries, but um, I, there was one place in Japan we used to go and there was a fine, fine pastry shop. And they would make these little pound cakes. They were just spectacular about this thick and about that big, big, good size little, they were individual as far as I was concerned, but they, they were, had this little stamp of the name of the bakery, right? Kind of like, kind of almost burned into the top of it. It was just wonderful. And, and it was just an identifier. They, they wanted to put their stamp of approval or their stamp of identifier that th this was theirs. Now, it became mine after I bought it and started to consume it. But this is the thing. You and I are marked out for all eternity with that seal of God's Spirit on our lives. That's His love. And look at what it says. A seal upon your arm for the love, uh, for love is as strong as death. Jealousy as cruel as the grave. Its flames are flames of fire. A most vehement flame. It's talking about the power of love and how strong love is. And he says, many waters cannot quench love, nor can the floods drown it. So when you, you and I think about this, I, I, I'm, I'm going to flip over real quick because I, I think oftentimes of uh, what Paul the Apostle wrote in uh, 1 Corinthians regarding uh, love and, and, and the importance and the significance of love. There's a whole chapter dedicated it, chapter 13. But in the last part of this, it says, and now in verse 13 of, of chapter 13 of 1 Corinthians, he says, and now abide faith, very important, hope, absolute love, these three. But then he says, the greatest of these is love. How true is that? You know, when we really realize and, and recognize, or willing to recognize the, the true depth and nature, the character of God, He is summed up by the one word, love. God is love. For no greater love can one man display for another than to lay down his life for his friends. No, no greater love. And it's true. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. All of this is, is that unfiltered, really, just outpouring of God's love. And when we read about that love in the New Testament, the word is agape. It's a, a, a Greek word used only to describe this special, unique kind of love. It's, it's a word that was made up to describe that kind of love. The love that God has for you, the love that God has for me. And the only way you and I can experience agape is if we know him. It's for believers. It is to be that marking, that identifier on a life that we belong to him. They will know that you are my disciples, Jesus said, by your love one for another. God bless you. Let's love one another. Have a great day.